It's my favorite time of the year. It is beauty favorites time. I've tried a lot of new products this month. I don't know why. I go through seasons where I'm like kind of set and then other times where I think, give me everything new to try and test against my favorites. I'm always looking for like the next best thing. Let's start with the hair product. I am sharing this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Weightless Mask. Uh, the term or the word weightless is what really sold me on this. This was sent to me as a PR sample. They sent me the two other options as well. There's a frizz one or no frizz and then a recovery mask. Uh, this is the Perfect Hair Day collection. It leaves hair shiny, soft, and manageable. I thought it was a really nice deep conditioner and they're right that it was weightless. I almost wish there was a little bit more slick left in the hair. Um, not like in a bad way, but just I wanted to run my fingers through my hair, mainly my ends after I used it. And I kind of wasn't able to do that where when I use Pureology Hydrate, just the regular conditioner, oh, I had this in the shower this morning, so it's dripping down my hand. I'm able to really run just my fingers through my hair uh, after using Hydrate. So this is weightless. This is great if you have fine hair, if you don't like the feeling of any kind of conditioning product on your hair. And my hair looks conditioned for it naturally being quite dry. This is a good, this is good shape for me um, while I try and grow it out. So I, good things about the mask, I like it. I wish there was a little bit more slip or like slick feeling on the hair, especially since it was shine inducing. I really didn't see a ton of shine, but it is very difficult to make my hair shine. So I've enjoyed it. I recommend trying it. I'm gonna try the other ones as well, but I started with this one today. Another product I had in my shower is this micro delivery exfoliating face wash. You've heard me probably talk about the Ulla Henriksen uh, facial scrubs. There's a facial sauna scrub. There's the walnut scrub. Those are very gritty scrubs. I have a very flaky dry face, so I like the feeling of really sloughing that off. This is a little bit more of a gentle approach. It still has some grit in it, but it's a much finer grain. This is one of the first exfoliators I ever used. It's great if you're new to exfoliating. If you're a cleanse and moisturize kind of girl and you're looking for what else to add into your routine, exfoliator is for you. Uh, I'd highly recommend trying this and I'm glad I picked it up again because my skin's pretty sensitive. I'm like, maybe I need to just tone it down on the exfoliator for a minute. Um, so I've grabbed this and really enjoyed it. Similar to the skincare realm, I got this cuticle um, moisturizing pen from Olive and June. They sent me a really nice care package around the holidays. So this is a cuticle serum. You can buy this in a pack of two. I haven't seen it in just a single unit, but it's a little pen like this. Can you see that? And you can just hydrate your cuticles. And my cuticles, my hands in general, now I have to keep going. I can't just do the two. Uh, are very dry in the winter. This is good to do pretty regularly. And what I like about these and kind of what I like about the reason they're sold in a pack of two is you can keep one like by your bed. I always moisturize my hands at night and my feet. Um, you can put one in your purse. It's good to do if you're in a carpool pickup line. Just moisturize your cuticles while you sit there. And then you won't get those cracks that can happen or just dry cuticles. So this cuticle pen is awesome. I love the packaging. I love how slim it is. And then that soft tip just for keeping the product from dripping all over your hands, but getting right where it needs to go. Two other products in the skincare realm are the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primers. I was really excited to try these. Uh, I have the blurring and the illuminating between the two. The illuminating is my favorite, but I'm all about radiant, luminous, dewy, glowy skin right now. Uh, the blurring is really nice for blurring pores. If you have noticeable pores, uh, get the blurring one. The illuminating is a really beautiful pearlized glow. It doesn't add too much warmth to your skin. It's not like a deeper color. It just adds a really nice glow. Um, so Laura Mercier has just nailed primers in general. She, the, the product, I say she like she's doing it herself. I don't know what Laura Mercier, the person is doing these days. The brand knows how to do primers and they just launched with the pure canvas primer like maybe six or eight uh, other options here so i got these two to try i'll probably use illuminating way more than blurring but i still like blurring if you're trying to cover up pores i've been enjoying two new foundations one is brand new to me one is like a resurgence of a, a foundation i used to love in the past 
Uh, Nick Spare with me. Have I told you guys about this here? I know I've talked about this on Instagram stories. It's hard to keep track of where I've shared what products I've been raving about. Uh, this is the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I have shade True Beige Buff. That is my exact color. Uh, what I love about this is the price. It is a drugstore price. NYX makes great makeup for drugstore uh, budgets, and it offers like a really nice creamy like blurring of the skin. It's not gonna give you full coverage. It didn't say it was. It's more of a tinted moisturizer but it wears so nicely during the day. It doesn't oxidize into a weird color. I have really loved this. More often than not, I grab this. And we're traveling soon, and I know makeup is gonna be light for me because we're going somewhere warm. Uh, so this is definitely making it into my makeup bag. Another foundation that I'm bringing on travels is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. You know I hate a loose powder, but you just can't get the finish of this product in any other form. I know they make it in pressed powder. And I've tried the Bare Mineral Sticks. They're good. I've tried their liquid foundation. It's fine. The original loose powder foundation just looks so beautiful on the skin. It's so dang easy to apply if you can get over the fact that you're wasting product because it's just dusting off everywhere every time you use it. Um, this shade is fairly medium. I had some fairly light, maybe fairly neutral, and those were a little bit too light for me. So fairly me medium is what I'm wearing today. I find that it's a really good match. Uh, this is great because it can uh, allow you to build up to full coverage. What I like about it for travel is you're not going to get a liquid mess all over. Just make sure this top is on tight and you've got like, you could do a light wash of color or you can build it up to a more full coverage foundation. So these are two foundations I've been loving. An eyeshadow I love is um, just a single. You know, I talk about a lot of eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow palettes are really fun. But if you're trying to simplify and you just want like, just tell me like the one thing. This is a beautiful eyeshadow. It's a warm brown. The shade is suede. It is the Ulta brand. Uh, it comes in this tiny little case. You can also pop it out and put it into a tray and fill in with maybe four or six other, or three or six other shadows. Um, but it, I'm wearing it in my crease area today. It's such a nice, easy to wear, taupe, warm brown, which most skin tones can pull off any kind of warm brown. Um, so if you're looking for just, just tell me a crease color and then let me live my life, this is it. This would be beautiful if you just put foundation or just a neutral primer on your eyelid and just put this shade in the crease and pulled it under your lash line a little. You've got a beautiful eye makeup look and you only really use like one eyeshadow. I used to love the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, I picked it up recently again, maybe last year sometime, and was like, this is still a good mascara. And when I saw that they launched this one, this is called Surfer Curl, um, I had to try it. I saw this on Sephora's website. I think that's where I came across it. This is by Tarte. Um, I am a loyal Benefit Roller Lash user, and that's what I use on my lashes today. This Surfer Curl is great as an addition to using a lengthening mascara, which is what Benefit Roller Lash does for me. Roller Lash also holds curl very well, but this adds more thickness and volume. It does also hold curl really nicely. Uh, so if you're looking for a new mascara and you want something that holds curl nicely, it isn't too wet. Um, like these mascaras lean towards maybe the waxier side uh, and they are possibly more prone to clumps versus a more wet mascara like Tardist Lash Paint, very wet mascara. You're not gonna get a lot of clumps, but man, if you make a mistake, you're gonna glob that product onto your eye, like under eye area or your eyelid. You're not gonna get, this is a little bit more drier of a product consistency, but you're still gonna get a lot of impact and volume. Um, maybe not as like glistening wet black lashes, but you'll still get a lot of definition. Um, so I have really loved this. This is by Tarte, like I said. And then let me gather up the rest of my products here that I have uh, put in my lap. I have two lipsticks. One is an old favorite, but I picked it up again. It is Naked by Urban Decay. It is really similar to the shade Morning After, but this is warmer, a more true classic pink. Um, this is a cream finish. Uh, Urban Decay's Vice Morning After, which I heard they're discontinuing, is a sheer uh, shiny finish. And then I also got Heartless. This is a comfort matte. This on its own is like straight up Barbie for me. But this I put over naked 
And it's a really nice combination because what I was feeling with Naked was that it was a little flat, like just basic pink lipstick. And I like to have fun with color on my lips. And this alone, Heartless, is just baby doll Barbie pink. Uh, but it adds a little bit of like interest and fun to an otherwise classic pink lipstick. My last two products that I've been loving are the uh, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Au Naturel and Caramel. I say caramel, Justin says caramel. So I got Au Naturel and Amethyst in a trial set. They're much smaller, I don't have them near me. Sometime in the fall, I'm pretty sure it was a holiday deal. Maybe it was in November that I got them and I loved both of them together. I loved Au Naturel so much more, but Amethyst was beautiful. In fact, I have this green dress that when I wear that, I always do Au Naturel and Amethyst on my eyes because it just plays off the green really nicely. So I have bought the full-size version of Au Naturel because I wear it almost every single day. And then while I was there, I also grabbed Caramel. So for you to compare, this is what is all over my lids right now. It's a slightly pink based, beautiful cream eyeshadow crayon. You can wear it as just the base alone. You can put eyeshadow over top of it. You could do a powder eyeshadow like Suede from Ulta. That's exactly what I did today with my eyes. Um, or you could do a cream eyeshadow in the crease. All Natural looks really beautiful with caramel next to it. This is warmer as you can see and a little bit darker. So we've got All Natural here and caramel on this side. Whoop caramel on that side. Um, so I wore caramel on its own, no on natural, all over my lids and under my lash line the other day. And I thought it was a really nice, subtle, just kind of brown eye. I didn't add a darker color to my crease. Like I said, I just kept it eyeshadow only. I went really subtle with the liner. Um, this is a beautiful, caramel is a beautiful color, especially if you have slightly darker skin tone than me. Um, much darker and you're going to get it lost, but I lean more towards like light skin, certainly not fair, but all natural is great for lighter skin tones. And then if you have a little darker tone, maybe you have brunette hair, caramel would be a really beautiful option for you. What I love about these cream shadow sticks, last thing to talk about cream eyeshadows a lot because they're so easy and I feel like people don't talk about them enough is these blend in beautifully with a brush or with your finger. Let it set for like 30 seconds after you've blended it out. And then if you want to add more color in, you can do that. They're going to be like kind of like immediately a little tacky because it's a cream product. But once you let it set, it'll be, it shouldn't move and it shouldn't crease throughout the day either. Uh, so I've been loving these like legit, not a day has gone by in a long time that I haven't used on natural all over my face. All right, those were the products I was loving for January. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. You can always find more of these on my YouTube channel. Um, I also very regularly am talking about products I'm trying, what I'm looking for, all of that stuff on Instagram. So if you're not following over there, please come over there and hang out. Um, I'll put my handle right here on the screen. You can also find a link to my Instagram below this video. Hey, also I have a really easy way for you to shop all the products I mentioned here. Just click this box on the screen and you'll find the list of every single thing I talked about.